Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm Jonathan Asley of JonathanAsley.com, and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, how a high quality man says, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> uh, really quickly before we get started, you might notice I'm wearing a suit this time. Someone recently mentioned that she thought I'd be better off, be more professional if I wore a suit when I shot these videos. So today I'm wearing a suit, although since I'm <laughs> since it's COVID, I am not wearing the suit pants that go with this. All right, let's just jump into a topic, how a high quality man. You know what? Let's shift that how emotionally mature man says, I love you, okay? How does an emotionally mature man say, I love you? So I've come up with this phrase um, that I use, what I love you means to me, and that's what I wanna share with you. I want you to explore what I love you means to you. And so whether it's a man or woman, this really goes both ways. And you know, first, I've got to stop real quick before I get into this. I am burning up wearing this, so I got to take off the jacket. I'm going to throw it again. And I got to take off the tie because you know what? As cool as I might look, uh, it just isn't me. I wear jeans and T-shirts. I live at the beach. Uh, you know, I wear flip-flops every day. This isn't my style, but I just wanted to start the video. So just to remember, I love you. Okay, so. Uh, thank you for your patience with me. I don't know why I just chose to do that. But anyway, when I say I love you, this is what it means to me. And let me explain why after I share each sentence. So the first, basically, there's six parts to I love you in my world. It's the world according to Jonathan. Number one, I'm here. I'm here. And what that means is I'm present. I'm present to this relationship. I'm present to acknowledging you. I'm present to this experience. Oftentimes, most people are focused on the future or they're focused on the past. In other words, they're hoping something will change in the future or they're reliving their past and it affects their present. So the first words I say when I say I love you, it means I'm here, I'm present. I'm present to you. Number two, is you matter, you matter. So when I say the words I love you, you matter means that your feelings matter to me. In other words, I'm present to your feelings, I'm present to your needs, wants, and desires, not only my own needs, wants, and desires. The average human is more focused on their own needs. And, and oftentimes women tend to be givers, so they give to satisfy someone else's needs. But I'm here to say that a true mature man, when he says, I love you, he's saying you matter, your needs matter. And that's, and, and really when, you rec when you're recognizing that a man doesn't value your needs, he might say the words, I love you, but it doesn't mean he really means it from an emotionally mature state. <sighs> Number three, well, first let's read, let's go backward. I'm here, you matter. Number three, three, we are important. The we are important. And I'm hugging myself to demonstrate that when you hug someone, there's a we. The relationship is a separate entity. So oftentimes more pe most people are focused in the I love you, meaning I need you to love me for me to feel good about myself. I need you to love me for me to feel good about myself. But in a we relationship, you recognize that there's a you, there's a me, and then there's a we. We is a separate entity. We is a separate entity. And a relationship is a separate entity that requires an investment of time, energy, resources, emotional commitment, transparency, vulnerability, personal responsibility, actions matching words. That's what the we represents. So when we step into the we matter, then when someone says, I love you, it's coming from a sense I mean, a mature person says it from, an, from a place of understanding that the we matters. So I'm here, you're important, we matter. I've got your back. I've got your back. That's the fourth one, I've got your back. What that means is saying that we're, we're part of a team. You know, we're working together in this we relationship as a team. 
And I'm here to say, if you're in relationship with someone, if you've been with men who have said, I love you, but they don't treat it as I've got your back, like you know that they've got your back. You can feel it and you've got their back because that's what an emotionally mature person does. They recognize that if they're going to say the words, I love you, that I've got your back has to be a component. And the fourth or the fifth piece is I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. In other words, I'm committed to this relationship. I'm committed to the we. I recognize there's a you, there's a me, and I'm committed to the we. I'm not going anywhere. And sadly, a lot of people say, I love you, but they've got one foot out the door. They've got one foot out the door. So people might say the words, I love you, but a true emotionally mature person says it from a place of, I'm not going anywhere. I genuinely mean this. I'm not second guessing this. And lastly, when an emotionally mature person says, I love you, they say, again, I'm going to repeat. I'm here. You matter. We are important. I've got your back. I'm not going anywhere. And I only want you. You will feel cherished. You'll feel respected. You'll feel desired. You, it's coming from a place of, I desire you. I only want you. I'm not interested in any other women. I'm not interested. I'm interested in investing in this relationship. I only want you. <sighs> Ladies, I get it's, it's complicated trying to understand men. You know, men say that they're simple and yet they're so effing complex because they're all over the map. It's one of the reasons why I wrote my book, Understand men now, the relationships men commit to and why. If you're not familiar with my book, go to Amazon. It's sold there, both as a Kindle and a paperback. And by the way, this was my first book, and it's a little, it's a little naive. I, I wrote it from a place of naivety, and what I mean to say is it's just a base understanding of men. It's not that deep dive of understanding men. But it gives you some basic principles. It piggybacks from my book that I, I talk about frequently is self-love. What the heck is self-love anyway? And why I'm talking about self-love is that, wow, I'm sweating from just wearing that jacket. <laughs> um, self-love understands that when we love on ourselves then we can be more open and receptive to love from another human being and they're capable of giving love because an emotionally mature person steps into saying the words i love you from a place of emotional maturity and if you haven't watched my video on emotional maturity go find i did a podcast called the five signs of emotional maturity half of my videos are all centered around emotional maturity which sadly only represents a small percentage of the population. And yet the emotionally mature person says, I love you from a place of, I'm here, you matter, we are important. I've got your back, I'm not going anywhere and I only want you. Doesn't that feel good? Please tell me, doesn't that feel good? Write a comment, tell me how that feels just hearing it. Oh, by the way, write a comment about my suit that I wore. Any thoughts about my clothing? Um, anyway, I think you get the gist of where I'm going here. Um, I hope you found value in this video. If you want help understanding men, if you want to help take your relationship to the next level, if you want help attracting the right guy, then check out my free discovery call to see if working with a coach is right for you. Also, check out my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? My book, Understand Men Now. My podcast, The What Would Love Do podcast. Just click the links below right there. I'd love for you to have, take your love life to a whole next level. And oftentimes it starts with a wake up call. That's why I'm very passionate when I shoot my videos. All right, I'm gonna wrap up this video as I always do now. First off, giving myself a big gigantic hug of self-love. I'm gonna reach into the screen and give you a hug of love. I'm gonna ask you to turn to someone and give them a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love and we can all use more love in our lives. Thanks so much and wishing you a super duper wonderful day. Bye-bye now.